Hi. Uh, in the previous uh, video, we talked about uh, polyphase power or power in polyphase system, and it's just like any other system. It's just the summation of the power in each in each phase for three phase systems. Right? Whether uh, the the elements are connected in series, in parallel, in delta, or in y, it doesn't really matter. Now, yeah, uh, for any system, for in terms of power, we are re actually interested with the voltage and the current and to get that for to get to get that we use watt meters now for for wire y this is actually easy you can actually get the voltage at each phase by connecting a voltage coil a voltage coil let's say this coil between A and neutral that gives you the voltage at phase A and then the current at each phase as this current coil uh, the measurement of that current coil now you can do this for all the other phases such that you have the voltage at phase A the voltage at phase B and the voltage at phase C and the current at line A the current at line B and the current at line C which is in for, for Y systems the same as the currents at at the phases so you can get the voltage uh, the power at each phase and sum them to get your total power now this is a bit different for uh for three wire systems because well what's actually available to you are your line terminals so you want to connect the watt meters at the lines. You you are not the 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 phases are not actually very much available to to everyone. So you want to connect it in the lines. And for three three wire systems, you don't have a neutral line. So what would be the difference? Uh, if you have four wire systems, uh huh. I, if you have four wire systems, you can get an IA on through current through this current coil, an IB through this current coil, and an IC through this current coil. And if this is unbalanced, you have an I neutral here. However, for three wire systems. Whether it's uh, balance or unbalance, you have this IA, you have this IC. You don't really need an, an additional uh, an additional current coil for I for IB because IB is just IA negative of IA and IC. So so. Uh, Having an additional current coil here will actually give you a redundant redundant value. So for three wire systems, what we actually need are just two two watt meters. And again, just like any other system, power is always additive. So for two watt meter readings, uh, for two watt meter uh, systems, you just need to add the two watt meters, the the value of the two watt meters to get the total power now uh, what's important in two watt meter method as compared to the three wire meter three watt meters is that for three watt meters you have the voltage from the line to neutral with the line being uh, of higher potential than the neutral and it's the same for all for all the lines you have line B higher than N neutral and line C higher than N neutral. You see this positive. Yeah. So that's how you define which potential is higher. Now, oops. for three uh, two watt meter method, this is a bit different because you have A higher than B, but you have C higher than B, not B higher than C. So what you actually want for a 2 watt meter method is a common node 
as reference. In this case, line B. So, such that you have a voltage A from B and a voltage C from B. So, what you have is a VAB for watt meter 1 and an IA for watt meter 2. For, I sorry, for watt meter 1. For watt meter 2, what you have is not VBC, but VCB or negative of VBC and IC. So, in this scenario, in this particular uh, diagram, you have a watt meter 1, I'll call this W1, as VAB IA conjugate and watt meter 2 as VCB IC conjugate. And then, well, this is actually S. So to get P, you just get the real component of each. So that's P. So that's two watt meter method. So again, for three watt meter method, you use this for uh, grounded systems with neutral wires. For three wire uh, systems, you use two watt meter method. So yeah. Now for uh, balance systems, we have the following equation. You can actually, uh, uh, there is actually a diagram to describe this 30 degrees, but I don't have it here. This 30 degrees here, this offset of 30 degrees, this is actually only valid for balanced systems. If the system is not balanced, you cannot use this equation. Now, if the system is balanced, you, this, this is something interesting. If the power factor is equal to 1, you have a positive reading for watt meter 1 and a positive reading for watt meter 2. And actually, your watt meter 1 reading is just equivalent to watt meter 2 reading. Now, if the power factor is greater than 0 0.5, both watt meters read positive. Uh, and take note, we are talking about watt meters. Therefore, we are talking about uh, real power, not apparent power, because it's a watt meter. Now, if your power factor is equal to 0 0.5, you have only one positive, uh, one reading. Uh, yeah, you don't have an, a reading for watt meter 2. That means your watt meter 2 will read 0 if the power factor is exactly equal to 0 0.5. If the power factor is less than 0 0.5, therefore only one watt meter will read a positive value. That makes uh, one of the watt meters, uh, one or two, will read a negative power. Okay. Now for unbalanced loads, I think uh, yeah I discussed this uh, just a few moments ago, and yeah that's that's two watt meter, and uh, that's two watt meter method. Mm.